Okay, we are back from our boat trip, which was really nice. Uh, and now we are going towards Senegal. And along the road, we just see all these big, big termite hills. So one is bigger than the other one. So, I mean, check this thing out. Now, according to the GPS, it's, uh, it's still 140 kilometers, but we found a small road, which is uh, that one, which will save us probably 100 kilometers. We're just having a lunch break now. And well, who knows, maybe the road will take us there. Maybe it won't, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just try it. Okay, uh, we went to Neokolokoba, well, we went to the entrance and the guys over there, they said, you have to take a guide as well. But we wanted to drive our own car and there's only space for two people. So this guy said, yeah, the guide, he can go on, on the roof and blah, blah, blah. But driving two days around the park with the guy on the roof, I don't know. So, well, we just decided to bail and keep moving. And now we have to make the following decision, which is to go to Mali first or Guinea. Because we weren't planning on going to Mali either. But apparently we have to get the Nigerian visa in Mali. Uh, our visas, you know, the one for Mali and the one for Guinea, they are almost for the same period. So now it's just one big, game of calculating routes and checking what we want to see. So we are now here and we have to choose between going to Bamako first or going to the Futa Jalon region which I really want to go to. If we go like this and then back to Futa Jalon and then down it's 1,000 kilometers extra, so we don't want to do that because we'll go the wrong way and back. And another option is to go here first, then to Bamako, and then take this route into Ivory Coast. Okay, so apparently the shortest route is to go from where we are now to the Futa Jalon region, then to Bamako, and then follow this road into Ivory Coast. That means we can go to Futa Jalon, so that's the one we will take. Now we have three roads going into the Futa Jalon region. The one here, passing at Kundara, this white and red means that it's impossible in the rainy season. Then we've got this one here at Banda Fasi, which it basically says in the Brat Guide that it will destroy your vehicle. So that's probably not the best option. But this one at Fungolembi is the one that the GPS says we should take. And this yellow means it's also a, a route which is unpaved. So 
we'll just take this one which isn't in the broad guide and we'll just see if it's uh if it's okay the broad guide doesn't show this guide but you know the broad guide is from 2014 and the michelin map is also from 2014 so we might end up on a road which is paved and perfectly fine or you know it's africa so we could end up on the worst worst shit road in the world but well who knows